Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Flash Season 8 Review Series. And today I am going to be talking about Episode 16, The Curious Case of Bartholomew Allen, which I have just finished watching. And this episode is actually really good. I really enjoyed this one a lot. And this was not only a great follow-up to Episode 15, but a great continuation of seeing Barry Allen once again in the lead role, doing his thing, being the fastest man alive, being the Scarlet Speedster, and most importantly of all, being the Flash. And it was great to see Barry Allen as the main guy again, because I've said in previous reviews that I was really getting sick and tired of Barry Allen being relegated to background status and almost in a supporting role in his own show. But it was great to see Barry Allen once again showcased to the fullest, seeing him on this incredible journey from start to finish and it was just an absolute blast and this episode just like i said in episode 15 this really felt like a flash episode and it's almost like they've kind of gone back to the earlier format of the seasons of the past you know where barry Allen was in the lead role trying to use his wits trying to figure things out not just constantly relying on other people to help him out. You know, we actually got to see Barry Allen using his head. I mean, Team Flash still helped him out, of course, but it was still very much Barry Allen's story, his show, and I loved it. It was just fantastic. And I really hope they continue with the path they're on. If we can have more episodes like this, as I said previously, then maybe season eight isn't completely gone to the dogs. Maybe we might actually see something good come out of this because as i said before apart from the armageddon five-part special and a few episodes in between season eight's been very up and down but it looks like from episode 15 it's almost like they thought about things and said you know what let's go back to the show's roots let's go back to the very beginning let's go back to what this show is supposed to be about barry allen aka the flash and this episode had a very different type of story, something we haven't really seen before. And we've seen things like this before, you know, time, obviously time's a big part of the show's theme, but it's not something that's really been explored very heavily. And in this episode, we got to see Barry Allen facing his greatest test, and that is old age. It's not something we've really dabbled in too much, but I thought the way they handled the theme about the possibility of Barry Allen getting old, I thought was very interesting. And I thought this was something they could explore in maybe a couple more episodes. They still might, but if this was the only episode we get about Barry Allen facing the possibility of growing old, then it's worth it. You know, for a one-off, I thought they did a really good job with this. So... I'm going to give a quick recap of what's happened so far, and then we're going to get straight into episode 16, which, by the way, was really good. So, as we all know, Killer Frost died, and we saw at the end of episode 15, Caitlin, along with Mark, want to resurrect Frost back from the dead. So, very interesting to see how they're going to pull that off. We didn't really get to see much of that in this episode, but we know it's out there and we know Caitlin hasn't really tried to move on from the fact that Frost has died. Didn't really get explored much in this episode, but that's what happened previously in episode 15. Iris is still missing. We saw Barry Allen trapped in the Steel Force and we saw Nora Allen travel from the future into the Steel Force and helped Barry Allen escape. And that's how we pretty much ended episode 15. Caitlin wants to bring Frost back from the dead. Barry Allen was trapped in the Steel Force, but managed to get himself out of there. So this episode doesn't really continue on from the Steel Force story arc. I mean, it's still out there. They went in a completely different direction, but this episode was still very good. So with that all said, 
let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about episode 16, The Curious Case of Bartholomew Allen. So we see at the beginning of this episode, we see Barry Allen racing through Central City, handling and taking care of different crimes and saving people, including an old lady who's crossing the road and actually gives him a butterscotch candy sweet, which I thought was very sweet and very flash-like, you know, Barry acting all goofy and everything. And then we see Barry gets an emergency and races to a very important mission. <laughs> The D&D game. We see Joe West doesn't understand the game at all. He's still missing Iris. We see that Iris is still missing, although Nora reports that Iris is still okay in the future, so they are still on the right track. Barry gets called to CCPD, where he's greeted by his old friend, the former Captain Singh, who has been waiting for him. And he presents him with a case that, at Mercury Labs, someone has stolen a gamma absorption array and it needs to be recovered so they can capture the thief. So then we see Barry Allen races off and finds a van with a stolen tech, but before he can get to the lab, we see a scientist comes out and hits him with the array, which is a sensor on the bad guys reading watch saying that absorption complete. And we see Barry Allen arrives at Star Labs, not feeling so great, and Team Flash scan him and they discover that he has aged 30 years overnight. Now, this was an interesting story because the idea of Barry Allen aging rapidly has never really been explored much. And we've kind of seen things like this before where Hero's youth has been stolen, like, for example, in Spider-Man, where Adrian Toomes developed this ability to steal people's youth and transfer their youth into his body, making himself young again. Although we didn't quite see that in this episode, they took parts of that and made it their own, which was still pretty good, I thought. We learned that Barry Allen's powers and speed has been impacted, and they also learned that the more he uses his speed, the more quicker he'll age. Cecile tries to convince Barry to let the team handle the situation, but there's not another lab robbery, so the Flash goes to investigate, and sure enough, it's the same scientist that we saw before, and he's trying to obtain a power more precious than any superhero has ever had, and the Flash is unable to hit him, and is blasted with the absorption ray again and we see Barry is starting to age not only on the outside but on the inside as well and it turns out that the more speed that Flash uses the more he'll age and they identify the scientist as a Dr. Peter Orloff. Singh observes that Joe is really frustrated being at home and retired. Joe admits that he's frustrated and Singh takes him out for a coffee and comes to the conclusion that Joe isn't ready to move on and he's too set in his ways. Meanwhile Cecile and Barry investigate at Dr Orloff's old job and finds his laptop but has a facial recognition security which will wipe out all of the information in a few seconds. So Barry wants to run it to Chester at the lab. Instead Barry and Cecile end up running towards the Great Wall of China and Barry starts to lose his memory. When they get back to Star Labs the team has a major intervention with Barry telling him that if he uses his speed again the next time he will probably die. They do, however, manage to stop the countdown on the laptop. Joe chats with Singh, who came to visit, and confesses that he's feeling his age and struggling with how things have changed. Singh tells him that the real problem is Joe doesn't want to move forward and doesn't want to embrace anything new. Singh reminds Joe that he is the person who gave the Flash his true powers by taking in an innocent young boy whose dad was murdered and his mum was murdered. And he gave him something new in his life and he took on the responsibility of raising not just Barry Allen, but the Flash as well. And it's the pep talk that Joe needs to hear, and he makes a decision. Cecile finds Barry struggling and forgetting where he was. He opens up to Cecile about being scared about his situation, and how he can feel getting older and weaker by the minute as his memory starts slipping more and more. And Cecile opens up by telling Barry about her grandmother and how she didn't fear getting old and running out of time because she knew that no one can outrun time, but they can embrace the time that they have left. Cecile tells him not to let his fear cloud his ability to find the right way to fix things. Chester gets into Orloff's laptop and finds his plans. He plans to make everyone old so he can use their youthful energy to make himself not just young, but immortal. Once he finishes connecting his devices, everyone will age hundreds of years in an instant while Orloff will become immortal, thus making everyone turn to dust. 
Elsewhere, Orloff starts to set up the machine and begins charging it. The solution is that the team has to essentially speed up the machine and burn it out. Barry realises he has the ability to do that, even if it might be the last thing he ever does. We then see Barry as the flash speeds off and arrives as the machine is fully charged and he hits the button. The flash runs around the bus to stop it from expanding. However, he starts to have a heart attack in his attempt to supercharge it and stop things and ages dramatically to 100 years old. However, he pushes forward and successfully destroys the machine. It also erases the aging for Barry and he's back to his old age. Meanwhile, Orloff reverts back to his old age. Actually, Barry de-ages in the process, shaving some time off, so he's now actually 29 years old. One week later, we're back to the D&D nights with Singh joining in. Singh tells Allegra about what her heroic name is, but she doesn't have one yet. Joe shows up to game actually in full costume, having fully embraced the, the means of playing the game. Barry gets a call from Carla and realises that Caitlin hasn't been with her mum and he goes to her apartment to check on her, but when no one answers he phases in and finds her lab. Barry confronts her about the lab and soon realises what she's up to. Caitlin reluctantly explains that she thinks she can bring Frost back and tries to sell him on the idea by asking what would he do if he could bring his parents back. Barry very emotionally explains to Caitlin that we have to move forward, we can't bring people back from the dead, and he isn't swayed and stops her from continuing by doing a very out of character move by not only destroying the lab but all of her work as well and leaves Caitlin in a teary emotional heap. And that's how we end episode 16. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode a lot. Barry Allen in the fall, lead role as the man, doing his thing as the Flash, and the idea of Barry Allen rapidly aging. I would have liked to have seen that explored more in a few more episodes, but this was still really good. I thought this was a very good episode and a great follow-up to episode 15. And I'm just curious to know how things are going to play out with Caitlin, because, you know, Barry's already said that we can't bring Frost back and he completely destroys the lab, which I thought was a bit of a heel move. If I'm truly honest, I'd have thought he would just said his piece and then just leave. I didn't expect him to destroy everything, but it's going to make for a very interesting episode 17, I think. And also, I'm just wondering how are they going to get Iris back from the Steel Force? I'm pretty sure we will find out soon enough, but overall, I thought this was a very good episode. So that's going to be it for me. I am going to wrap this up now. What was your thoughts on episode 16? Did you enjoy it? What did you think of the idea of Barry Allen aging and the more he's using his speed, the more he quickly ages? Do you think this is something we could have seen more in a couple of episodes or do you think it was fine as a single episode? And also, what was your thoughts on Barry Allen destroying all of Caitlin's equipment and her work? How do you think that's going to play out going forward in episode 17? Do you think this changes things in their relationship? Or do you think Caitlin will find another way to bring Frost back? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Flash Season 8 review series where I am going to be talking about episode 17, which actually I am really looking forward to seeing, especially with the way these last two episodes have played out. Should be a very good one, should be a very interesting one, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is all going to play out. So until next time, take care everybody and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.